Greetings everybody, this is Etho. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Crash Landing. <laughs> oh my my intros get worse and worse, I'm sorry. <laughs> so did you see it? Did you notice it? I'll give you one more chance. Huh? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Some exciting news. The construction company finally came through and my crane has arrived. Our city construction is about to go super scale now. We got the tools ready to help us out here. We're fine. <laughs> Zero days since last accident. Uh, no, I thought this was good. Like, I finally got my crane. Turns out I ordered it from a movie set prop company company, not a construction company, so it doesn't move, it doesn't do anything, it just kind of sits there. Not going to be helping us out. And we can't get rid of it because it weighs a million tons, so it's just going to stay there and we'll have to get used to it, okay? <laughs> Alright, uh, I reprogrammed these guys, we got uh, two drones working together here in perfect harmony. Oh man. So one of them, he's shearing the leaves and cutting down the trees. Other guy's picking up his mess and putting it in a chest. And I'm still kind of watching them because I just reprogrammed them. I don't know if there's any glitches. He's dropping off the junk. He's waiting for leaves. You're supposed to... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're supposed to chop down the trees now, guy. Uh-oh. Okay, wait a second. We got a problem. Let's let's check him out. What's his problem? I am sure I programmed him to, to chop down the trees after he got cut down the leaves. Let's check it out. Okay, get him in there. Yeah, that's his program. So he he chops down the, the leaves, yes. He puts the shears back in the chest, then he's supposed to dig. Closest block. Let's check the area. Yeah. He's targeting all the, the tree trunks, right? Looks right. Um, <laughs> I gave him coordinates. Yes, that's right. It's got to be the item filter, right? Birchwood. Hmm. Maybe I'll uncheck that. Export the drone. Okay. Please go chop down the trees. <laughs> do what you're supposed to do. I wasted like 30 minutes to an hour trying to program these guys because they kept fighting me every step of the way. And I f thought I finally got it here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> finally, we got it. Okay, good. Very good. So today, guys, what should we do? What should we do? Let's check our quest book. Not doing that one. Still can't do it. Let's let's look at these ones again. We gotta do some more quests. I, I need more stuff set up. Was there a enchanting quest anywhere? Or did I imagine that? I thought we had one. Cause that's sort of what I would like to do. Oh, I guess not. Okay. <laughs> well, um Alright. Okay, I'm getting all turned around here. Let's do th this one. We'll do this one first. I got to make a redstone furnace and an auto packager, which apparently I was able to use instead of the Steve's factory for uh, compressing the dust into the blocks for this thing. I had no idea. <laughs> you guys told me that though, so I, I apparently went the hard route on that. But it does work. It does what it's supposed to. All right, let me get the stuff together to make this stuff. Okay, here we go. Machine frame. Redstone furnace, how how I make. How I make. Question mark, good, okay. So, this will be nice. No more will I live like a caveman, cooking my food over over charcoal like some, some monster that I am. No, we will cook with electricity, like poor people. <laughs> no, aren't, aren't electric stoves like considered inferior to gas stoves though? Why am I making a redstone furnace? What on earth? Minecraft logic. Okay, so we got that auto packager. There we go. Okay, we got the stuff for that. It's just about nighttime. 
You know what I wanted to try to do today is catch a zombie villager and try to convert him so we can get villagers going too. Alright, so let's do it. Let's do it quickly. Claim reward. Excellent. That's another quest done. Um, tell you what, before we miss our opportunity here, how do you make a lasso again? This lets you pick up mobs and move them around. If we can get a zombie villager tonight, we will do this. String. Okay, we gotta enter the dangerous area. Let me get my jetpack ready. Because <laughs> this could get very dangerous. Alright, we need four string. And an ender pearl. Um, I'm just gonna put that in there for now because I wanna get off the ground. Okay, now we gotta hunt. We gotta hunt for a zombie villager. I think my memory is pretty good today. Is it not? Is that it? That is it. Awesome. Okay. Let's look around. Any zombie villagers? We gotta snag them. Oh, yeah, right there. You're coming home with me? I've never used this thing before. <laughs> How do you use it? Maybe I should have practiced first. I thought you just right click, but it didn't work. I've seen people use it though, I've never tried it myself. Is it not right click? Are you kidding? Okay, spiders are pretty safe, let's go check out this guy. Right click, right click, right click, right click! Left click? No. Shift right click? No. I think I just made a, a janky item. <laughs> okay. Um. Tell you what, let's make a safari net. I know how those work. Hopefully that guy's still going to be there. I, I read up. Apparently this only works on passive mobs. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not all mobs, just passive mobs. I think he despawned on us. He was right here. That's a different guy. Darn. Because they are pretty rare. We got lucky to find one there. Nope. Nope. That's a walrus. Oh, there's there's a plagued one. Will that work, I wonder? I don't know if I want to touch this guy. Okay. He's happy to play. I don't really want to talk to that guy right now, though. Got him! <laughs> I don't know if this guy's going to work. He's a special mob. He's not a normal zombie villager. But we'll try it out. We do have... Oh, wait. Did I just see one? No, that's it. <gasps> okay. Enough goofing around. We are not gonna die. Not like this. Ooh. That was close. I'm just gonna hang out up here for a bit. <laughs> Maybe sleep away the night. I think we got him. I think we're good. I gotta recover big time now. Okay, here it goes again. Here it goes, guys. <laughs> here it goes. We are going to try this out. We got three golden apples from that city. Oh, this ain't good. Should I pick him up? I forgot he was going to burn. <laughs> All right. Hopefully that didn't mess him up by picking him up. Because it might not have saved all the data it needed. Let's get him back down. That's still not a good spot, is it? Is he going outside? You don't go outside. You just... Oh, man. I'm tempting him. <laughs> um, dear, you know what I'm going to do? I totally messed this up. Am I poisoned? Did he get me? Oh, I have weakness, I see. Uh, I'm going to drop him off in the water right away here. And just let him look at me, I guess. I'll wait for him. I'll hold his hand while he converts. Come on, man. I got things to do. Just convert already. Come on, guy. Oh, yes, finally. <laughs> Oh, that was painful. Okay, what are you? Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. This is a Tinker's Villager, right? You can get 
You can get berry bushes from him. Uh huh. huh? And in the cage you go. Okay, good. So what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to make an auto spawner to get more villagers, I think. Because I don't want to do this again. <laughs> we'll spawn them in once we get an auto spawner. And it just so happens we need an auto spawner for one of these quests. And there it is. I knew I wasn't crazy. <laughs> you all doubted me. But look at this. We need an auto anvil and an auto enchanter f for this quest too. I, I thought I saw those somewhere. So we got to make that stuff too. And we get some decent rewards. I think this is enchanted. Hopefully it has fortune on it. So anyway, I got the stuff together here. It's fine. It's not anything. Just ignore it. Auto spawner. <laughs> okay. Let's set this up first. I want to get some villagers. Now the question is, what is the best way to brutally murder these villagers? Because I'm going to be dropping them into a smeltery to get emeralds. How should we do it? Hmm. That is a tough question. There's so many possibilities, it's hard to choose one. For now, is there any way I can just sneak this in here? <laughs> Looks like uh, this, this place is pretty messy already, doesn't it? Maybe I'll just steal this. Yoink. And we'll just spawn a couple of them and I'll... Just wait a minute. Wait a minute, that might be a stupid idea. No, I'm going to do it. You know what? I'm not crazy. Despite what you guys think, I'm not crazy. Okay. Put that there. Oh, yeah, and we got a battle wrench from one of these quests. Is this the same as a normal wrench with, with just more attack damage? It does six. This one does one. Does it work like a wrench? Oh, it does. Well, how about that? Six damage. How does that compare to, like, a sword or something? This does six, and this does quite a bit of damage, so that's not bad, actually. Okay, we have that in there. What did I do with that villager? <laughs> I know I didn't let him free. Wait a second. I must have dropped them in this chest here, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's get just get a couple of these guys spawning. Just so we have a couple extras. Is that going to work? Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> we got an Elvis villager. British comedy. Another Tinker's guy. Oh, yeah, and this is old school villagers, too, right? I think so, yeah. So we're going to have different trades. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Hmm, you know, I don't know, guys. I am I looked through the pack. I'm trying to find some cool way of moving the villagers around, like a launch pad of some sort. Uh, there isn't really any, though. There is uh, mine carts, and there is this elevator. I wonder how this works. Can I put that there? Does that connect? Oh, it does. Okay, cool. So we put the frame. I wonder if I have to press a button to use this. I don't think the villagers would be able to use it themselves, would they? I would like an elevator of death. Is that too much to ask? I can't place this <laughs> at all. Let me place how on earth do you place this? Oh man. You gotta place it right on the corners. That's tough. Yeah, we gotta sleep here. Yeah, an elevator of death would be cool. I don't think they'll use it though. So I may just put the spawner right above the smeltery if this if we can't think of anything. How you work. Do I need redstone? Redstone? Oh. That's pretty slick. <laughs> I do like that. Hmm. Oh man. Elevator of death might happen. I feel like we would need a few of these, though. <laughs> it is very cool. Okay, before we get our hopes up with the elevator of death, we should at least test it out to make sure it works before we set anything up. So, 
That is exactly what we're going to do. Because we can use fans to blow them into a tight little spot like this. And when they're all there, then we just activate it somehow. Is he going to stay on it, though, is the question. <laughs> oh, does it have a height limit? Oh, I, no. Not a, not a height limit. Come on. Oh, uh, it's a good thing I tested that. Hmm. Okay, I don't think there's any way around that. Hmm. I could use drones to kill them, but that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to drop them into the smeltery. So we're trying to move them, basically. And then kill them. Okay, I got an idea, guys. I think I know what we're going to do. So we're trying to build a cool city here, right? We're not just doing lame, spawn them right above the smeltery, drop them down kind of stuff. We want it to be factorized somehow, right? Or, or made cool somehow, anyway. So what we're going to do... It's not super cool, but it's something, at least. We're going to have... What did I just click? Must hold left shift to reload custom objects. What are you talking about? <laughs> We're going to have, from the top of the smeltery building here, or not smeltery, mob spawning building, we'll have some sort of bridge with a guardrail. It's going to run all the way over to our smeltery building. And somehow I'm going to drop them into the smeltery from, from this. And we're going to use these conveyor belts to move them to here. Like this. Alright. This should hold them in place, actually. I might not even need a guardrail. Because I don't think I... Yeah, I can't walk off of this. I have to really, really try to do it. So we'll have some fans at the very end here. It'll blow them this way. Somehow we'll try to get them all to one point, too. So we'll probably have some going this way. And then... Here's the real trick to it. We're going to set up some drawbridges here eventually that will open up a, a space. And if those are not there, uh, whatever we spawn up here is going to drop down here to the grinder and get killed. If, we, if we're if we spawning villagers, though, we'll make them keep going forward and fall down into the smeltery somehow. Uh-huh. <laughs> so let me try to set this up. That means the auto spawner is going to go somewhere around here. It needs about a 9x9 nine nine space, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, there. Uh-oh, heat stroke. We'll want at least two spaces for the drawbridges to drop the mobs down. So, yeah, I think here, right? Did I figure that right? 1, 2, 3, 4. I think so. Okay, and then fans would be one, two, three, four, somewhere around here. We'll have three fans blowing the mobs this way. All right, so I kind of got it set up here. We're going to try it out and see if it works. I <laughs> I kind of ch cheaped out here. I just ran a cable all the way up. We will We will work on making this look nicer later. Don't you worry. Maybe next episode. But for now, we just want to see if it works. Because I am lacking um, generators and energy cells and all that stuff. So we're not going to mess around with that. But anyway, um, got the fans here. I moved everything a little closer than I originally planned just because the fans didn't reach it with the way I had it. So this is their absolute limit. Is it going to make it? Yes, it does. Good. And the villagers should get dropped in the smeltery, hopefully. So the power runs up here, and these are just covers. There's conduit underneath that, and runs up to the, to the spawner from below there. And yeah, we're just going to do a basic test, basically. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> here, let's just glide around and see what happens. They might spawn outside of the the barrier there. I think it's possible. 
They might knock each other off as well. It's looking good, though. They move a little slower on that than I expected, but that's fine. They're not going to despawn or anything. <laughs> this is the look I want. I want to see villagers going across a bridge. Uh, like, way up above here. I think that's cool. And then if we're in this building, we can watch them, you know, <laughs> take the plunge. Oh, it is working too. I see the green already. Nice. So they melt down and give us emeralds. For some reason... Hey! Oh, we have an escapist. How did that happen? I don't think he got pushed by anybody either. He fell there on his own craziness somehow. Alright, at the corner we have a problem. Um, why is the emeralds not showing up on my smeltery? I wonder. That's glass still. I had some glass in there still. I don't know. Oh, now it's in there. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Now we're not going to get any villagers melting down, though, because all the, the emeralds got pumped out. We got more coming? Yep. Good. Alright, I think it's going to work out okay. Just have a couple issues to work out. Alright, anyways, guys, I have to get going here for today. I'm all out of, of uh, free time to record, so that is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have yourselves... A wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.